Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. And a happy Friday evening from the Milrose Games version 102. This is Larry Eater with the Running Network. Uh, a superb Milrose Games once again. Started out the evening with uh, Terrence Trammell doing a world, le world leader in the 60 meter hurdles in 745. Uh, we had uh, a couple great pole vaults. Uh, Steve Hooker, the Beijing world champion, set a Milrose record and an Australian record in the men's pole vault. And Jen Szczynski started off the season right with uh, almost getting her American record. She had three good attempts at 15-10. The last one was oh so close. Uh, the, probably the two biggest highlights of the evening were the uh, Catholic Boys 4x800, which was uh, won by Fordham over the last uh, 800, and the crowd loved that. But of course, the highlight of the evening is the Wanamaker Mile, version number 83. Um, you had Nick Willis, the bronze medalist in Beijing, uh, sitting on Bernard Legat, and with about three and a half laps to go, Nick showed his stuff, took the lead with a little under two laps to go, and you had Legat, and you had Willis fighting it out until about uh, 70 meters to go, and Lott went by and 350, uh, ran 357 for his seventh Wanamaker win, which ties him with Eamon Coughlin uh, as the new chairman of the board. A great meet tonight. The crowd was probably about 10,000 people. Um, and in this economy, in this kind of crazy weather, there was ice and everything in uh, New York a couple of days ago. Uh, it uh, was a good crowd and a, a good portents of what's going on in uh, track and field and road racing this year. Okay, uh, I'm Reese Hoffa. I'm a shot putter. And I'm here for the Melrose Games. Uh, basically, this is going to be one of those fun events. Uh, I think Adam and Christian, myself, Dan, I think we're all in great shape coming into the event. I look forward to hopefully hitting a big mark. It would be nice to see the Melrose Games record go down one more time for the fifth straight year in a row. But uh, I think as long as the crowd gets behind us, it should be a great event. Hi, my name is Priscilla lopes Schleep. I am from Canada and I recently just uh, got a bronze in the Olympics and back-to-back -back defending ch uh, champion here at Melrose Games. Very excited to be out here today and just really excited to see my times coming down and getting back on point and looking forward to bigger and better things for the sixth season. Uh, now, uh, we were just talking, you train in Toronto. Where yes. <laughs> I train at uh, York University or down by the track by my parents' house, which is in Oshawa. So I'm used to the cold. Canada, we have piles of snow, like five foot, just from shoveling the driveway and the snow not melting. So I'm, I'm used to the cold, but it's okay. It's made me a tough person. My name is Tiffany Ophelia. I run the 60 hurdles, and I love this track. It's a great atmosphere. How do you feel about your performance? Uh, it was okay. I got third. I'm at 8.02. Okay. I'm Muna Lee. I ran the 60 meter dash here in New York. The, what is it, Merrill's game? Yep. <laughs> I had to get it wrong. Um, I did pretty good. Like, that was my fastest opener ever. So I'm happy with that. My start could have been a lot better. I'm still working on it. I got some things to work out. But overall, I'm happy. Hey, hi, this is Stacy Dragila. I do the women's pole vault. And we're here at Madison Square Garden where I just finished the women's pole vault and ended up second with the mark of 461, which is um, right over 15 feet. Uh, the year's been going really well for me. Finally had a full fall training, um, as maybe you don't know, but I've had two Achilles surgeries in the last two years, so that's put a big hamper in my career. And finally healed up, everything's healthy, and I've been able to have a full fall going into the indoor season. and. Um, and it's my last year of competitive uh, season, so track. I just want to have a, a great year this year, have some fun out there, and still jump high and be competitive. From the Milrose Games in Madison Square Gardens, this is Larry Eater and Gary Morgan signing out for the Running Network.